départ, c'est juste euh, d'être père. I just want to be a father and raise a family. It's not such an unusual thing to do. Naître père is a French documentary, Born Father, about a gay couple who use a surrogate mother in the US in order to have a baby. What is it? What do you think, Gina? Help them have I made this film because I had just become a mother myself. I have a little boy who is now four years old, and I was extremely touched by the story of Jerome and Francois, two men who had such a burning desire for a baby. And I wondered how that might happen. How did the surrogate mother feel? How was it organized? The web of human links in this adventure fascinated me, and I really wanted to follow the story, which was so incredible, very modern, but also so timeless. Modern and in the same time, completely of all time. The story that you live. The experience is above all a relationship with the surrogate mother, because you're there through the whole process. That's quite something. You excited? Yes, yeah. oh, yes, I bet. <laughs> a bit nervous, but it's sure. <laughs> Couldn't even wait till Tuesday, huh? No, apparently not. <laughs> to go all right, well, let's do this and we'll have a great uh, delivery and get you guys all united, okay? All right. <laughs> I think that there are certain people who really see it that way, but a huge majority of people don't see it like that at all, especially for Jerome and Francois. For people who see the film, they will tell you that the money paid to the surrogate mother really is only compensation for the months that she couldn't go out to work. You can't evaluate the gift these women give. They give life. Le don que ces femmes font, elles, elles donnent la vie. Et donc, euh, on s'est rencontré à Denver la, pre la première fois, et euh, à l'aéroport, et on a parlé avec son mari, avec elle, avec euh, son I fils. I was very et... moved because it was my story too, because it was the story of many people in our association. You feel like it's the same surrogate mother, the same family, the same situation, the same hospital. It's incredible. It seems like that even though you don't know them. You say, yes, it's marvelous, it's a fairy tale, but you know that's really what it is. It's the truth, and sometimes happiness can disturb people, happiness can worry them, and we've all lived that. Things will get frustrating, definitely, and hard. It's going to be harder than you ever thought it was going to be. But it's going to be better than you ever thought it was going to be, too. So many things going through your head and emotions and everything else, but to watch somebody else go through it. Um, and to be able to, you know, provide it for them. Yeah.